hello everybody. Uh, this webinar is organized by Arm Recognition Group uh, to launch a new uh, vehicles from Incas uh, vehicles based in the uh, Dubai United Arab Emirates. I'm now with Mr. Alexei, the uh, business development manager of Incas. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, Mr. Alexei, can you introduce briefly uh, before the launching of the corporate videos of Incas? First, introduce yourself and explain briefly uh, Incas Vehicles, what's doing the company. Hello, everyone. So I'm Alexei Yermolaev, Business Development Manager from Incas Vehicles, LLC. Uh, our facilities are based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Uh, so all our headquarters, uh, R&D facilities and manufacturing factories located in the same place. Uh, and my, right, all my main job is business development and sales. I'm uh, more than 10 years in this business, so I am pretty savvy in the technical questions as well. Then we will launch the corporate videos uh, to introduce Inca's uh, company. Who you are. Reputable people, those who change our world, take responsibility, and take action, each in its own way, in different areas. But each of you needs protection. Who we are, the guardians of your safety on your way. We often have to spend time with you in the hotspots, on the missions. We take pride in reliability of our products and systems that protect you. What is our mission? Confidence and security we provide that you will always ride unharmed. Go, go, go. We develop our models using cutting edge technologies because human lives depend on our expertise. Who we are. Business of saving lives. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the videos. Uh, first, now you can explain what's doing really in gas, especially in the design and the manufacturing of uh, uh, combat and also security vehicles. Yeah, as you can see, we are doing big range of uh, specific, specifically for army and for police, law enforcement, we are doing range of armored personal carriers uh, based on uh, like a bigger, like simply saying bigger and smaller chassis. So they can fulfill different roles, uh, both in the field and in urban environments. Uh, as well, of course, our range of products is uh, commercial vehicles, cash and transit vehicles, and all other armoring-related activities. Today uh, is a big event uh, for the company. You, you will launch a new uh, pickup design 4x4 APC uh, under the name of uh, Hornet. Uh, yes, that's correct. Indeed. Can you explain, yes. can you explain briefly uh, why you have developed and launched this new vehicle? Yeah, the Hornet APC is based on the uh, widely used and workhorse uh, chassis Land Cruiser 79. 
uh, most of the APCs, they have uh, like fully covered design. This is lighter version of the design with an open cargo area, as you will see in the future presentation. Uh, that's why, uh, like, we had some feedback from our customers from uh, different areas who need something lighter and uh, less covered. So, like, we developed Hornet uh, to fulfill this role more in the, like, uh, urban or village areas where big APCs cannot access or where they like uh, feel uh, too narrow uh, like oversized vehicles okay thank you uh we have received uh, from uh, uh incas vehicles uh, a video presentation about the vehicle and then i would like now to introduce the new pickup design 4x4 apc uh on it design and manufactured by uh, incas vehicles The Hornet is a 4x4 armored personnel carrier designed and manufactured by the company Incas Vehicles based in Dubai. It is based on the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 chassis. The vehicle keeps the original design of the commercial pickup vehicle but configured to be used as a personnel carrier for military units as well as a surveillance and security vehicle for police forces. The standard equipment includes reinforced door hinges, all around the hull are mounted closed-circuit television cameras linked to a main digital video recorder. The doors are fitted with bulletproof windows. The hull of the vehicle provides Stanak Level 2 protection against 7.62mm bullets. One of the key features of the Incas Hornet is that it can be operated under conditions and environments not suitable for heavy armored vehicles and other oversized combat vehicles. The Hornet can reach a maximum road speed of 110 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 750 km. The bottom part of the chassis is protected against explosion blasts from two DM-51 hand grenades. The standard equipment includes run-flat tyres. The vehicle is fitted with an upgraded transmission produced locally by Incas for this specific body type and vehicle weight. The rear of the troop compartment is fitted with a single door giving access to the cargo compartment that is covered by a canvas. Standard equipment includes LED lighting systems. The design of the Incas Hornet is divided in three main compartments with drivers and commanders seated at the front, troop compartments in the middle and cargo compartments at the rear. The cargo body is covered by a canvas. In option, the Hornet can be fitted with a one-man open-top turret mounted on the roof of the vehicle that can be armed with a 7.62mm or a 12.7mm machine gun. The original dashboard panel has been adapted and reinstalled to maintain the original appearance of the Toyota pickup truck. The choice to build the vehicle on the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 chassis was made because of the worldwide off-the-shelf availability of spare parts as well as the cost-effective maintenance and operating costs. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Alexei, for the, for the video. Uh, now we will focus maybe to some uh, technical aspects of the of the, the new uh, Hornet vehicle. Uh, first, uh, can you explain, this is a, a very unique, unique design, especially uh, for uh, the pickup design, you have uh, three compartments. And I saw also there is a, a special access door to join uh, and to, to have the possibility for the people or maybe uh, to have an access immediately to the cargo area. Yeah, from the point of view of design itself, it's quite unique. Uh, from the point of view of chassis, uh, yes, this chassis is widely used by, uh, for building the APCs, but uh, the uniqueness of this design, this is like uh, two thirds of the coverage area. 
Uh, that's why in rear we have cargo compartment which can be equipped either with seats or with some equipment or even you put uh, additional ammunition, additional weapons over there. Uh, so this uh, gives some additional versatility. Like, of course, we have similar design, but fully covered. But uniqueness of this particular design that uh, the, the area, the compartments, they're separated between open compartment, which is covered by canvas with access door and uh, internal compartment for the crew, which is 360 de 60 degree uh, armored and protect all the interior from all sides. Uh, there is uh, also a uh, lot of accessories uh, inside the vehicle, but uh, uh, what is important, you have also cameras all around the vehicles with the possibility to record image, that's correct? Yes, of course. Uh, whatever equipment you can imagine, uh, it can be installed, of course, uh, with the common sense and availability of the equipment. You can install cameras, you can install searchlights, you can install different weaponry, uh, even you can uh, install remote weapon systems, uh, winches, whatever, jammers. Uh, yes, you just name it. <laughs> Any, I mean, uh, accessories, equipment, which is needed by in the fields or by the specific uh, law enforcement or army unit, it can be equipped for the special role and our also strengths that uh, this is our own R&D, our own design, so we can customize the vehicle to the needs of the special purpose of the special needs of the end user requirements. Can you give me some main features, for example, in terms of mobility, uh, the, the, the speed, the, 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 the capacity in all terrain condition? Uh, the engine is a, it's like the engine is turbo diesel with 195 uh, horsepower, which can be additionally increased if it's really needed by the end user. Uh, the uh, vehicle can be both left hand drive and right hand drive, which is also very useful. Uh, the availability worldwide. Uh, the spare parts and maintenance are really uh, very affordable and easy for the end user. And uh, this vehicle, the, this chassis can really be repaired in the field. Um, and uh, like glass and steel, we are using the flat glass, which can be also easily replaced and uh, like uh, chips in maintenance. So the main feature of this uh, vehicle that it's uh, affordable and uh, that it's versatile in different roles. You just explained also this is a, a small EPC, uh, then uh, sometimes it's not easy to use big armored combat vehicles in urban area. This is a main advantage of this new vehicle? Yes, the vehicle is small and due to its design, which is not fully covered, it's also lighter in comparison to a similar APC based on the same chassis. Uh, that's why it can be used in the urban areas, uh, especially good for uh, Africa narrow streets and uh, if the roads even in the urban areas are not so great, but the streets are narrow and where you need to maneuver and where the oversized vehicle will have difficulties uh, to, you know, to, uh, to drive in. So yeah, that's the advantage. Okay, thank you, Alexei, for all this information and for the, the launch of the new, the new vehicle. Uh, I will ask uh, if there is somebody who has some questions about uh, the vehicle or about Incas. It's not the time maybe to, 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 to send your question uh, via the chat. We will wait uh, maybe some questions from the people. Uh, 
I think so. Uh, there is no question at this time. If you need more information, uh, you can contact Incas uh, via the email sales at incas.com. That's correct, uh, Alexei? Yes, sales at incas.ae. Okay, can you maybe uh, add the uh, contact detail email in the chat, then people can see the, the contact detail? Done. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. Uh, if you need more information about Incas vehicle, you can contact uh, by email sales at Incas dot ea and of course you can also uh, contact arm recognition group if you need some uh, to organize also some webinar i will send also via the chat also the uh, address yes, of second, our company. Alain, yes. i have yes. a question mr bullet is asking how many kg of tnt can be detonated ah, okay. Okay. underneath because uh, this is light vehicle uh, like standard protection is simultaneous detonation of two DM-51 uh, German hand grenades. Uh, so this is not the MRAP, not mine resistant armored uh, ambush protected vehicle. That's why it doesn't have V shape and uh, the clearance is not that uh, big like on the oversized big vehicles. That's why the TNT, it's, I mean, the armoring is similar to the uh, standard uh, commercial vehicles, which is two hand grenades. But we can add additional protection, which is underplate, which will make a double floor, and it will add some additional protection from the blast and, and the shrapnel. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Asking regarding the price, please, you can send inquiries uh, to sales at incas.ae because the price really depends on the uh, final requirements, quantity, originess, uh, and many factors. Um, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Bullard, for your for, for your question. Uh, we must finalize uh, this uh, webinar because we are now online. Uh, there is uh, 20 minutes of uh, webinar, I think, so no, it's okay. You have also the possibility to come back and see uh, the webinar recording uh, on arm recognition uh, area, okay? And also uh, the video will be published in the next few hours on our YouTube account, Defense Web TV on YouTube. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much also, Mr. Alexei, for your comment and your explanation about the vehicles. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank you all attendees.